Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course guys, today I'm very excited to show off the latest version of Android, which is Android 11 with One UI 3.0. So this is the latest update of Samsung's user interface. And of course we have just gotten the latest version of Android as of January. Now this update is rolling out at various speeds to different um, people. So of course you can always try checking for the update as we go along. So, of course, Android 11 brings with it a lot of new features. I won't be able to show every feature, but of course, I'll be just showing you some of the main updates that I have noticed so far. So, of course, you can see the lock screen. And, of course, this is the always-on display. If I wake up the device, you can notice subtle changes, especially with the, um, the overall code. You can notice, of course, the pin area right here, which is um, different. The text and the overall look of the buttons is different. But of course, I'm just going to use my fingerprint. And you can see the interface right here. And of course, I'm going to show you the notification area. When you draw down the notification shade, notice that it covers the entire screen. And it's, of course, opaque. You can barely notice the icons in the background. Again, guys, you can notice the toggles, quick toggles up here. So let me just show you them. And of course, they are right here. And of course, they are the standard. But of course, you can notice that the look and feel has been changed a little bit in terms of the animation and the text for the time and date and so on all right guys um the menus have also been modified and of course things have been moved around a bit which is quite nice i love the overall look and to prove i'm on this version i'm going to go to settings and if i go all the way down to um about phone and i looked at the um, information of this device which is the software information you'll notice right here it says android version 11 and it does show the um, one ui version 3.0 so of course guys very exciting to try this out and you have noticed also in the menus guys the overall layout has changed for the menus let me go again show you what i mean for example if you go to your apps notice that there are changes in here i've noticed these new modifications now and of course, with overall search, you'll notice that there are certain changes. And if I go into any particular app here, I can go to um, storage, for example. If I go to storage, notice some things are um, as usual, but there are new modifications to the overall um, layout. And I'm loving it so far. And you can see search right here. Notice there can, um, you can search by hashtag. There's also previous um, searches that you have done for a quick reference. All right, you can notice the keyboard as well, the overall um, look and feel of it in general. There's the integrations, your GIFs. There's um, various um, stuff that you do have with the keyboard. And of course, if I go into my gallery, changes can be seen here as well. I might have to blur this out. Notes down here, the menu. Is at the top right here but of course it does move down here for the main menus you can go into um, favorites from down here location the trash you can go into the overall settings familiar but of course the location has changed and of course not looking bad at all all right so you see guys there's plenty of new features there's the camera i don't really think i've seen anything new right here uh, but overall um, things are looking very nice for this new version of um, android and i'm um, really liking the touches if you look at your um, app icons so for example if i choose any app icon let me just choose one at random here let's say for example telegram or even signal notice here you have select remove and install but of course i like the opaque background and the new touches you can even look at information on the app it brings it straight up and of course the tweaks and changes are various and as time goes on guys you can look out for um, updates that i'll be doing on new features and update and all fixes and tutorials because uh, android 11 does build on android 10 and previous versions of android you can notice the widgets as well their modifications are changes and of course you can always go through you notice the weather widget which is quite nice and of course they have done some subtle changes as well all right guys so i'm going to cut it short here 
Thanks again for tuning in. Regarding the blog, the tips, and bye until next time. Bye.